Not bad. I can lose 15 seconds to Hazard and still get second place at least right now. Ah, today we play that a full dirt nice. map. Interesting. Really? Oh, Shoddy is still here. Let's go. Join the server. No, I'm mapping. You will love this competition. Maybe. I would play it. Yeah, then go. <sighs> like endurance knockout. It should be perfect for you. Yeah. Does it mean I'm gonna play it? No. <laughs> Are you mapping for this uh, random map tournament, metal tournament, then, <laughs> or something Wait, completely what? different? Uh, no, no. I'm mapping for an event, but not the map you're gonna test. Different one. But not a random map medal tournament. Nope. Uh, uh, That's not easy, dude. Oops, Sarah. Oops, Sarah. Boah, that map is so tough. There's a right turn? Hmm. And you don't take the left turn outside, maybe. Oh god, what is this combination? When is the map over here? I think so, yeah. Whew. I'm just building scenery, which is uh, something I enjoy a lot. Right? Yeah. Yep. Mapping scenery is awesome. I fucking love it. Oh, please kill me. Honestly, I sh should maybe adapt the... Uh, or maybe the the style of building scenery while you're mapping is actually a good idea. You think so? But if you add, if, if you change something... <laughs> yeah, that's terrible then. You gotta yeah. be sure about what you build, but... It's just so much... work when you have to do it all in one go and you get more inspiration if you don't if you build some route in between yeah maybe how not doesn't work for all maps definitely doesn't work for a competition style map i don't like the idea either but uh, maybe more enjoyable
No, I'm mapping the map that you're gonna test, Marius. Okay. Or oh, is that a long sector? Ooh. Only wanted to train the ending part there. You can train now four corners and this ending part. Well, six lepers will take so long here as well. <sighs> okay, so this was the warm up. Now follows. A new elimination round. Which will mean uh, six laps now. That are also just training. The last bit of training that we get. Oh, holy shit, this will take longer than the first map. Will there be that many pauses again is the question. I hope that this will work today. Oh! Uh oh. There was a little server lag in the new elimination round. I just continued driving but it was not nice for a moment. Okay, I don't really know how to get this part. Ah, oh, teleport. Uh oh. I was gonna say only one is okay, maybe. Yeah, in the in the warm up, someone said nice server bar, so so like, no? and everyone was like, huh, why? What is happening? Like, I had a completely normal warm up for me, there was no lag at all. Yeah. And now I seem to see what he struggled with. Like one lap is one minute forty five long. Oh. These six laps races will take so long. I hope he can make it before twenty one. But I'm gonna go now. Already you? done with prepping? Yeah, not right now. I just had the finish, you know. I just got the inspiration to write it out. Didn't work the way I wanted. Whatever. And I, I need to, I need to let you test anyway to see if, if it's even fine the way I have everything right now. I mean, I think so, but you never know. But yeah, see you tomorrow. See you.
I wonder what will happen with this cup. I mean, probably when a few players are knocked out, it will not be that bad anymore. But people will get knocked out and be frustrated <laughs> if they had teleports. Party is so unsmooth. What? Oh, that was a teleport, man. For the first time, it did hit that part. That's exactly the part that I want to test to train, and then I get the teleport there. Now my position on the car is not equal to what I see on the bottom right. Wait, there's one more lap. Oh, I thought it's over. Oh god, that, that, that takes so long. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you guys will be finished before, unless you get knocked out before, earlier. I mean, this is still the new elimination round. <laughs> oh, it's okay, yeah. That's why. Well. Of course, this cup doesn't have many rounds in total. I will around to reach top 32, around to reach top 16, around to reach top 8, around to reach top 4, and then the last round between the top 4. So, 5 rounds in total. But 5 times, um, something like 11 12 minutes, and alone that is then an hour. I know I get frequently teleports. Always small little ones. What is happening with the gear there?
Would it build a map? Valve. So what did they all write? Ah, hmm. oh, author time, nice. I like slow dirt because the teleports are more easy to handle. <laughs> So, in theory it would start now, maybe it just does, I think we just go. So, 28 players will get knocked out, and I started a bit late I think, at least I have no countdown. Oh, I'm in red. First teleport. <laughs> oh god. But I'm fourth, fourth place. Someone asked uh, writing fix fucking server. <laughs> Yeah, admin said now I can't really fix it like if they restart that we have the same issues just that we wait again 15 minutes until it starts. So it is just about praying that after the first round the top players are not getting knocked out due to teleports. And that then the teleports go away. I see one DNF by Nyko. The DNF is stupid. No matter the case. Unless he doesn't want to, just doesn't want to play. But otherwise this uh, plugin or they are the normal cup of the day plugin doesn't help here a lot. Like on the first play they just shows something random with plus one fi 55 minutes or so, I don't know. Can't really tell. Well, that's probably how long you're driving, kinda. How far ahead you are. Ach so. Crazy with all the teleports that I had, that I'm actually fourth or was even third a few seconds ago. Now I touched multiple walls. Come on, don't give me a landing block this time, please.
Oh my god. Oh, finally. I just hope that I don't skip a checkpoint with a lag. <laughs> we have 28 knockouts this round. I wonder if it <laughs> if there will be even more. With my latest teleports, I dropped some positions. They were really not good for me. But I'm still 6th, 7th. Well, the map is also difficult, I guess. Yeah, it is super difficult. And there are some parts where I have literally no idea how you wander hand with the gears. I googled today uh, Women Champions League, yeah, I wanted to see who, who is actually the best team there, who is winning the last seasons in the Champions League, uh, in football of course, and uh, uh, very interesting, like Lyon won five times in a row the last five years, uh, no, not the last five years, the last year Barcelona won then, before it was five times Lyon. Uh, before that, we had uh, Germans like F F uh, FSV no FF uh, Frankfurt like a women team of Frankfurt not Eintracht there's another yeah. and uh, Wolfsburg and then I had also uh, a look at the results yeah so basically they have some like the weaker teams teams. They uh, have some matches against each other in groups and the best teams of those, they qualify then for the playoffs and in the playoffs there are some of the big names already basically safe in. Which makes sense if you see the results then between the good teams and the teams that had to qualify for that. It is incredible. 27-0 and so on. There was a semi-final, a fucking semi-final. Yeah. 13-0 in the Champions League. <laughs> yeah. I just lost my one eight, eight and a half minutes in. That jump is so random. It's but this is only lap 4? How am I only lap 4? Uh, but I didn't have teleports for some time. Uh, such a stupid reactor cut here that I, a stupid reactor cut that I have to do. Otherwise the run was very safe, but decent. Oh my god, I got a landing bug on the wall. What the fuck? What do you mean? I just did a bounce off a wall and I got a landing bug on it. Like, actually. Didn't even know that can happen. Depends on what kind of wall, because when I heard that, I thought, yeah, of course you don't land smooth on a wall. But I thought of a rope water wall. Oh my god. Am 
why does it happen in that checkpoint always? Like in the triangle checkpoint, there I get the teleport. What is this? It's the worst part. To give me a teleport. I don't understand this shitty vector jump, man. It's so annoying. Sometimes you just jump higher, it makes no sense. There's no difference between making it and not making it. Yeah. Could maybe take it safe, but then I would need to be like... Probably like 8 seconds ahead or something. So I just take the gear down here. It sounds very very awful with the engine. But, <laughs> in the end, it's still the best decision I can do. Because the gear afterwards was really good. <laughs> I finished in an instant right. A good race. <laughs> oh, it's last RPG hunting, yes. Yeah. The map is a bit annoying though to hunt. Way too long. Oh, there are so many reactor jumps. Like, of, of course, some of those are annoying because they're cuts, but yeah. Is it the mapper's fault when the map gets ruined by an annoying cut? Like, the cut is, cuts in theory are fine, it's just when they are random, it's annoying. Mm. Or uncontrollable, at least. I, I'm surprised, I wrote a good race. But there was no other uh, comment for like a minute. I but wonder, now there are? Now there are some comments, but also not many. That's <laughs> so surprising. Uh, I didn't know that this word is uh, a thing now, instead of copium, because someone said, hope that the uh, server is then better in the later rounds, everyone writes copium. Yeah. Well, now there is boss in the lead, like when I finish it showed something else, no, it's actually Zeni, but Zeni left the server, oh, na lol. There are people that finished decently and they just left the server. They would be qualified. Oh, we have the knockout phase. 32 players knocked out. Wait, we were 64 then at some point? So it was really just exactly 64 players and then 32 get knocked out and 32 stay in, what the fuck? But I think that some of the players that qualified now, they are not on the server anymore, I believe. So 
now I need to get a top 16 position. And we all pray for less teleports. And then we know for next competitions if that is if that is acceptable to continue a competition like this. If it really gets better. You could say uh, that's probably still mostly the slower players get knocked out in the first round and uh, uh, but for them it's actually a chance when, when you have these tailor pause it gives them actually a chance to maybe survive but then they don't have a chance at the end anyways usually yeah depends it might be fun soon but like the best players even with the teleports they should get enough margin yeah to have no problem like there's often massive gaps more well, always it, it, massive gaps yeah yeah on this web there will be massive gaps at least but there might be other maps where it's not the case or where you can't make uh, with a bad teleport can't make a jump need to stand still respawn that's not the thing here because there are no transitions there is no no speed check on this map yeah i mean yeah, it depends also if you're the only one that affected that badly or, or if everyone has it and you just got a little bit more unlucky. Yeah, and it of course can play a role where you get it. Like, can we just be a small teleport and you continue like with a second time loss and that's it? Or it can really hurt you and crash you into a wall and then when you respawn you still get the teleport all the time right after the respawn and it's still bad and pushes you directly off the track or something. Or, yeah, then or you I try it three, four times with a respawn and then you need to dig it up and just do standing respawn. That's always great. Okay, this one is interesting. For some reason, I mean, there wasn't a teleport yet. For some reason, I'm losing positions in every sector. Like now, I'm only 12 suddenly, and I don't drive anything bad. Now I'm from 12 to 8 in one sector. It feels weird. Because on this map, I wouldn't say that we should be that close. Maybe you're saving more than you realize. Again. Well, there's not really much saving, there's either you hit the lines or you don't. I'm coming to the luck part again now, 8 minutes in, wish me luck, I am on pace. Good luck. I'm unlucky. I'm so fucking unlucky. Oh my fucking god. Gotta see now how much so is the safe way. I mean, it should be easy to get that one again. Fuck, man. Why am I never lucky? The problem was, I saved the part before, or had a slow part before as well. Um, 
So I couldn't go safe way there and still beat them. I'm pretty sure. I'll see with the Novi spawn timer. In the, that risky way that really doesn't save much. But it was close. Didn't you say earlier that you need 8 seconds lead? Uh, 8 seconds lead for... Yeah, if I want to do the safe way there, yes, at least. Where I had like minus 6. But isn't that much? Uh, 8 seconds lead on my PB one, I meant. It's not uh, just comparing to my own PB. It's not an important statement. I'm just talking to myself with that. But yeah, I had a perfect end now and it would have been enough. However, one of them improved actually now. We were 46. I drove exactly 10 minutes. 0 0.04. <laughs> wow. 10 minutes, 0 0.04. Hmm. But that's easy still. I need to gain 14 seconds on my run, and I win 11 seconds just from not respawning in one of the parts. At least I beat Techie, so now I'm 5th place, so that's something. Teleports, by the way. Gut. shows now the true potential of the drivers and by now I would say that I have no chance to win because I drive a really really good run so far and I uh, just got from 6th to 5th but I'm really happy with how I drove so far and then you have Elkon 6 seconds ahead actually he lost a bit of time to me in this lap he was already so far ahead Also this gear change there, I don't understand it. Wait, I've dropped from 4th to 6th in that section. Aye, aye, aye. Are they all getting it so well?
back to fourth. Yeah, I overtook them. And seven seconds to first to Elcon. Nixotica is ahead and Chaffa Padawan is ahead. They had good times here close as well and Chaffa Padawan finished with a 10 minutes 22.222. Oh no. <laughs> so the 8th place is uh, 2.5 seconds behind me after over 10 minutes of driving. That is so sick. Like this is really a difficult track. And surviving goes until Jandro. He survived by 1.7 seconds. North is out, Machetto, Sophie, Ice, LP and Sebi is out, Senko is out. Yeah. But a really difficult round comes now because people like Thomas Shaw and Monkey were outside of the oh. top 10 this round. It's crazy. Yeah, I need to add that uh, command still, the delta command. <clears throat> Whew, yeah, uh, this is uh, interestingly close, like I'm really surprised. I was top 8 now, but I need to get again top 8 and as I said, Thomas Shaw, a monkey, they had a bad round. They can definitely, they easily have the pace to be ahead of me. Then I already dropped from 4th to 6th and I was only beating uh, two guys very uh, closely, so that would be already 8. Oh no, 120 second pause now. <sighs> well then, uh, I go drinking something. So and I also want to look again until it starts what kind of knockout we have today. There was something special. Oh yeah. What? Today was also celebrating one year of the Team 2 Island Cup. Hmm. Yeah, but I just see it. Today is a platform knockout in Team 2020. I almost wanna play that. Yeah. Pangolin got second in the morning one. That's a problem. Of course, everyone who played in the morning knows the maps already. It's a huge advantage. So, <laughs> Simon Luck. <laughs> and those kind of tracks though? Yeah, and those kind of tracks that doesn't play that much of a role, probably. But yeah, they all have uh, built maps now, basically this week for this event. 
Or maybe they had some earlier, but they are, I, I remember the announcement where they asked for maps. Yeah, I also got that. No fucking way, dude. What? Dude, you can't lose the one stupider. Oh my god. The reactor just went out early. Uh, hey, like, for me, I'm a little bit difficult situation. Do I continue playing this RPG map if I don't get it in this attempt? Or do I go to the random map meta tournament thingy? Well, you still have time after the random meta. Yeah, exactly. But is it gonna be enough? I mean, it should be enough. It's In theory, it's super easy. And I mean, I already had a run now, which was fast enough, and now I have a different line for the part that I failed, so in theory it should be really easy. But you know how that is with RPG and time pressure. I mean, it's not that much pressure, I mean, I had the other maps already. Like, the pressure doesn't really come from, uh, I don't know, like from the money or stuff like that, it's just you put effort into it and then you don't want to lose. That's the pressure. I had a bad, but I went from red into white. Ah, last one that looked really safe and really good, because I made positions over positions and was up to four. Now it's interesting again, <laughs> again on this orange spot.
Now I get it slowly. Oh, I never had it that good this whole section. I didn't even win a single position, wow. But the good thing is I didn't lose a position. What? I'm only 1.6 seconds behind first and I'm 8. What? What? Um, that really doesn't sound that difficult that map now. Just from hearing that. Naja, last time we also had that sick uh, devil. I mean, I have an hour flow in the map. So right now it's pretty good. But ah, at the beginning it was definitely very, very, it's very technical. Constantly was kind of saving my run because I knew I was gonna win a lot of time in one section. Uh, like where I lost like over five seconds. Uh, turns out that was the one before, and not this one that I'm comparing against. And now I actually need a kind of good. There's one small cut that I can do. That would basically guarantee it for me. I get it like 60, 70 percent of the time, maybe. Mostly skill based. This can have a bit of unlock, but mostly skill based. But still tight. Need to jump off a pipe. The problem is the landing because you land on plastic. Can't be this unlucky. I absolutely nailed it, landed perfectly, but got unlucky and got a plastic bounce. Like I've never seen that before, dude. I'm in the last lap, and I'm on eighth. <laughs> what is this race? Dude, so, uh, the ninth position is six tenths behind me. <laughs> and I am only, I am only, uh, 2.2 behind first. Now 2.1. So crazy. Oh. Dude. <laughs> But the exotica plays with cars on, it looks really sick. Yeah, with cars, oh god. Aren't they lucky? At, at least in the beginning, they for sure were lucky. Ah, Chaffa Padawan is out. And now it instant goes to the next one. Now I need top 4.
the end I didn't improve. But I'm I bet say the I bet that uh, everyone that was ahead uh, that they have a much better pace than me, but they all had also mistakes, and so it was uh, not a big gap then. Like nobody was was probably super clean. Oh, I need to risk, I need to go every lap for this super good gears. I had one bad line. So random for me if I can keep that gear or not. I, I don't even know what exactly makes the gear down. Or is it the gear up? I don't even know.
Holy shit. I am out, I'm fifth by two tenths, but what the heck? This competition is something else. Even better times than the round before? Much. I, I improved by over three seconds. I would have won the round before. Uh. <laughs> this is so next level, this level. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know, it's crazy. I had a bad first lap. I was 1.5 seconds behind the leader after just one lap. In the end it was three seconds behind the leader, so I only lost 1.5 more. I had a battle all the time, getting to fourth, then back to fifth. I'm not sure if Thomas Shaw was one of the drivers that actually was further behind and made a huge comeback. It was difficult to say. I felt like because my uh, pace that I showed in that last lap, I think the, whoever that was with that I was fighting for fourth and fifth, I would have beaten him. <laughs> But maybe Thomas Shaw came from behind. But I think that was Bospes also fighting with me and he stayed also ahead. Like he's also not far away from me. It is so crazy. How far are you in the cup by the way? Didn't start yet. Oh. Keep driving the RPG. I mean I didn't want to tell you because, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure if I, maybe I want to spectate that final <laughs> and then do the platform knockout. Uh, it's so bad, like, it will always uh, collide, of course, now, no? Because this cup here just takes longer than an hour, that's the issue. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the top 64 round was shit because teleports all over the place, but uh, then from the top 32 and it was fine. I had such a good ending as well, like the whole last lap was really good. I lost it in the pre-last lap when I bumped too much over the dirt bumps, they are, they are really annoying. So let's have a look at the final round here. The top two of this round will qualify themselves for the big final in the end of the season. And uh, other than that, it is about of course winning this uh, cup today, whoever gets first now. So this is not really a knockout format, or yeah, you can say it's a knockout format, three players will get knocked out. But second place is also something worth. Oh, Elkon! Ooh! <laughs> Did you see Elkon's outside line? No slide as well. And he zoops ahead of Thomas Shaw. He won over half a second alone in that corner. Ay ay ay. So we see so far no mistakes. And 7 tenths between all the players. I mean, it would be more if Elkon had a better start. He was basically fighting for last and then he zoops into first. Also gets good lines there. We have Bosbeth still in the back. Basically there's no fight at the moment. They are all a little bit away from each other, but all still with a 9-10. Everyone gets the triangle, keeps the grip. You see Elkon getting this the best. And Nixotica got it a bit worse than Bosbeth. So Bosbeth catching up here. Oh, Thomas Shaw touching, but that's not too bad. In this corner you can touch. He has now a lower gear, but I always went for the lower gear on purpose. But you see him struggling a little bit. He is losing a tiny bit of time and Elkon is in the lead, but Elkon struggled a little bit in his tech turn through the multi-lap. Thomas Shaw far outside there, but didn't touch barely. Bosbeth, however, touches and he will drop down a little bit further now. So that uh, leaves us to watch at Nixotica how the top three are doing. For boss bets, it's gonna be difficult to reach top two. But I think pace-wise, he should be also the slowest. We, in the last round, Elkon and Exotica were both far ahead, and Thomas Shaw, probably he had a mistake and came back from that, and had just incredible pace as well. Now let's have a look at Elkon. 
very interesting line. Like he releases a lot in the beginning, but the exit speed is so enormous. But yeah, outside lines are always good for Elcon. And he comes further away from the two opponents. How is Elcon doing this? We oh, had a bad gear up there, but it doesn't matter too much. Far outside here. Thomas Shaw, I just clicked away there. Thomas Shaw with a huge crash. And he is completely out of this fight now. That leaves basically Nixotica in second place. And we have no battle at the moment. No really tight battle because Alcon has a stronger pace currently compared to Nixotica. Bospes lost a lot of time in this lap, so Thomas Shaw has a chance to catch up to him. But... Oof. Crash by an exotic car. Actually everyone is stumbling now, besides Alcon. But of course Alcon shows this pace and an exotic car tries to risk it more to get closer there. But some of the drivers here will definitely drive slower than in the previous round. And also Nixotica losing it now completely. I think that this is kinda decided already. Uh, Elko needs a big crash like Thomas Shaw to actually fail this victory. Um, the people in the back are getting closer together. There's still some gap, 2.2 seconds behind Nixotica and Bospes. And 1.6 seconds between Bospes and Thomas Shaw. But after all these really close rounds, yeah, this one here <laughs> is not so interesting. Uh, but I think that Alcon is also just on an extremely good time. He finished with a 10.15.6 um, in the previous round. And I think that he is improving uh, quite a lot if he continues this pace. And this is only lap 3. It's crazy. And he already has that gap now. Like Thomas Shaw is also still losing time on Elcon, for example. Oh, Elcon with a touch. I mean, this 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 was also a weird line to drive towards the multi lap, to be honest. Here, I didn't release enough in my previous run. I often kinda got airtime at the exit and lost uh, some exit speed. That was definitely a corner I, I lost the race on. And now Elcon actually starts also making mistakes. Ay, ay, ay. Right after they knocked me out. He still has a huge lead, but yeah, he lost of course a little bit. But here he will gain time back, it looks so good. Still no battles in the back. Elcon uh, now again 3.5 seconds ahead. Crazy how much he won after his mistake. He's only one second behind his PB you can see in the top middle. Hello Ravenkel. Uh, too bad this final round here is actually now a little bit boring but uh, other than that like in the rounds before I didn't think that this uh, competition would actually work so well people really showed that they try to uh, drive more consistent because it's endurance and then everyone or many people level out in a certain pace 
so that it's always close and then they push themselves though that was very outside had to release a lot then they push themselves against each other because they have the similar pace so they are always close to danger and then they get faster and faster uh, basically all the p players here really push themselves to their best performances in this format that's really crazy like you get always closer and closer towards your limit at least that's how I play and how it works for me but I mean I think like just randomly I would not have been able to do such a good 6 lapper on this map oh my god Elcon full crashing. Ah, he's still over a second ahead. But at this point I wonder if anyone will actually beat my time from the last round. With that they knocked me out. <laughs> Thomas Shaw is super far behind uh, now. And yeah, the top two are still quite safe. But Elkon can't do such a mistake again. Then he would actually lose the lead. This is of course the most dangerous part, because that's the part and on the track, the only part on the track, where you can really get a stopping. And I also touched it in one of my runs. I was quite lucky that I kind of survived it. Nice, Nixotica was keeping the gear here is so fast that he has to pre-drift this. Interesting. 1.2, but now comes Elkon's corner. I mean, Exotica also takes it nice, but overall he's losing a bit of time. But not too much this time around. He's still up there. But he still needs to rely on a mistake by Elkon, obviously. And Bosbess needs to rely on a big mistake by an Exotica or Elkon to actually get into the top two. So now comes the dangerous checkpoint. And he gets through. Ah, he keeps the gear there. I really always wondered how, how that is actually working. Icon is on a good pace here in the last run. Exotica then as well, kind of, even though Exotica of course lost some time. So we approach the last turn. GG to Elcon winning on dirt. And Exotica also qualifying for the final. What was that lag by Elcon? Oh, Elcon always has lags here. He was two seconds ahead and in the finish it only is 0.8. No way. And it's still a 10.15 and Exotica 10.16, even though they crashed so much. What the heck? <laughs> Elcon had an over one second lag in the finish line. And that is how I knocked him out in the, in the previous race, uh, in this Delta competition. That he also lagged and I overtook him with that. Like, holy shit, if he had lost that. <laughs> 